Let's talk about our final method. Okay, this is the final method, the last method that, that we use. Um, so we did average cost, we did LI or FIFO, which is the first in or the first out. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, this one is called LIFO. This that stands for last in, first out. So the example they used in your lesson is, for example, if it's like a gravel company, when they get more gravel, instead of <laughs> making sure what they sold, what they bought last goes out first, they really are just making a pile of gravel. So when they buy more gravel, they're throwing it on top. So the newest stuff is going to go out before the, the old stuff. Okay, and it would just depend on the business you're in, which method you use. So this one's last in first out, which means they start selling these last items and then work their way back to the first ones that they ordered. So this goes the opposite order. This example says this business uses the LIFO method for inventory. As of October 31st, they, have sh they sold 213 shredders and had 82 left over in their inventory. Find the value of the end inventory. So they were nice enough to break it down for us. Okay, They said of the, the things that they bought, they sold 213. They have 82 left over. We want the value of the end inventory. So we want the value of these 82 that were left. Well, where would those have come from? If this is LIFO, last in, first out, we start here at the bottom and sell these items and we go up from there. So if we have 82 left over, notice <laughs> our first shipment here was 100 items. So the 82 would have had to have come out of this set. So they sold some of these, but have 82 of them left. So notice this is the opposite direction from the first in, first out method. We're going from the top up, excuse me, the bottom up instead. So we know we had 82 items. We know they had to come out of this portion where they were $31.90 each. So we can find the price of those 82 that we have left over. We get $2,615.80. Okay, so again, go from the top, you sell from the top and go up. Um, our 82 had to come out of these 100. Okay, that's our leftovers and we multiplied by their price, got the total. Let's take a look at this next one. Okay, so this is one we did the FIFO method for before, and this time we're gonna pretend this light bulb company does the LIFO, last in, first out. So again, it's very important that you read to find out which method you're using. Okay, what method are we using in this one? Last in, first out. So we start at the bottom and sell our way up. They want the final cost of goods sold, so we want the ones and the value of the ending, ending inventory. Okay, um, the table records the number of units received in the month of June. On June 30th, they had sold 134 bolts. What's the cost of goods sold? Okay, so they've ordered all of these. Again, let's find the total. We did this in a previous. We get 160 units received. Okay, um, that's how many we've bought. Now we've sold 134 of them. So how many have we sold? The cost of goods sold, we've sold 134. We have in our inventory left over. Okay, if we take 160 minus that 134, that leaves us 26 for our in for our leftovers in inventory. Okay, so if we want the cost of goods sold, we've sold 134 items, but we do the price from the bottom up. This is last in, first out. So we start at the bottom this time. 
So as we sell our items, those 134, and we want to find where they came from, first we sell the 64 at the bottom, and that leaves us with 70. Then we sell the 12 here, and that leaves us with 58. Okay, then we have 58 coming out of this 84. So when we're selling these items, we have 58 that we sell, and if there's 84 there, how many, and, and 26 left over. That's our inventory. So let's find the cost of goods sold first. Let's do that first. So the cost of the goods sold, which is what they're asking for here, We started our bottom here, sorry, we sold 64 items. Those first 64 that we sold were $1.68 each. Then we sold these 12. Again, the reason we're going backwards is because of the method we're using. We're using the last in first out. Those 12 were $2.31 each. Finally, we sold 58 of those others that were left over so that we could get our full 134. And those last 58 that we sold here were $2.41. Okay, so we do 64 times $1.68, we get $107.52. $12 times $2.31 gives us $27.72, and those last 58, 58 times $2.41 is $139.78. If we total those up, we'll find the total cost of goods sold. Okay, so go ahead and add those values together, and it looks like the total cost of goods sold is $275.02. Now, if you remember our answer from using the first in, first out method, this is a different answer, but it's because we're using that other method um, for selling inventory. We're selling the last ones first and the first ones last. So that will make a difference in your answer. Okay, this is the same question, very similar. In fact, here's our light bulbs. We're still going to use the LIFO method, so last in, first out, where you sell from the bottom and go up. Um, same situation, they sold 134. What is the value of their remaining inventory? So this time we're not finding the cost of goods sold. This time we're finding what's the value of the stuff that's left over that did not get sold. Now in last in, first out method. Remember, we start from the bottom and go up. So again, you can go, okay, so if we had 134, um, we sold the 64 first from the, from the bottom up. So we sell the bottom 64 first. That leaves us with 70. Then we, we go up from there. So then we sell the 12. Okay, th then we have 58 left over to sell out of these final amount and we're left, we have 26 left over, okay? Because if you have 84 and you sell 58 of them, you're left with 26. Now we could do that from our totals also and find out how many were left. So our inventory that's left over, there's 26 of them and we know they were from this batch because that's the last batch we're gonna sell. We sell the first one, the last ones first and the first ones last. So this is our last ones we're selling. We know it came from this batch. So we have 26 that are $2.41 each and we get $2.26, excuse me, $62.66. Okay, so notice once again, we did this before in a previous video with the FIFO method. We got a very different answer here. So depending on the company's inventory method, the cost of their inventory will be very different.